Hello, welcome to our Cisco Cybersecurity Operations video series course. This lesson is about comparison of security deployments. In this lesson, we will talk about the following. Security deployment overview, network endpoint and application security systems, agentless and agent-based protections, legacy antivirus and until malware, and SIEM, SOAR, and log management. Numerous types of network threats are growing and changing on a daily basis as modern networks use a wide range of applications, protocols, and ports. Various types of network security technologies have been developed to mitigate or depend against these attacks. Of starters, email content security systems battle email-based attacks and web content security systems fight web-based attacks. Similarly, Different types of security appliances are designed to fulfill different mitigation roles. The traditional approach to network defense involved the implementation of basic firewall technology. This approach is no longer an effective or fail-safe mechanism as an attack target for legitimate systems and software applications that are allowed to across the network and the firewalls. Defense in-depth approaches and security solutions designed to work across risk spectrum are required in the organization to counter today's advanced threats and attacks. Security has developed from traditional perimeter protections to a comprehensive, systematic, and actionable model. Modern security solutions should be able to secure any system over any network for any program and must solve network security challenges from the point of view of the spectrum of attacks. The continuum of the attack is divided into three phases, before, during, and after. Understanding these phases is important because this continuous model is consistent with how companies secure, defend, and audit networks on a day-to-day -day basis and can help analysts suggest better solutions that provide protection throughout the attack continuum. The best way to communicate the overall security challenge is to look at the attack continuum while trying to defend the network. The reason for using this security model is to emphasize that a silver bullet is neither feasible or possible. Today's threats climate is nothing like it was a few years ago. Simple threats that have done tangible damage have given a way to advance cybercrime activities that are complex well-funded and capable of causing major disruptions to organizations and national infrastructure. Not only are these advanced attacks difficult to detect, they remain in networks for a long period of time in the mass network resources to launch attacks elsewhere. Today's network security controls are expected to work across the attack continuum. Using a threat-centric security model addresses the full attack continuum across all attack vectors as shown in the following figure. The first part is the before. So here you need to know what you're defending from. Right? It is important to be able to defend your network device inventory like devices, operating systems, services, applications, users, and etc. You need to implement access controls, enforce policies, and block applications, and overall access to assets that reduce the extent of the network's vulnerable surface area, which spends time and money on a company. Unfortunately, even with good access controls, attackers have a relatively easy time entering the network perimeter. Before an attack, solutions that include firewalls, next-generation firewalls, or NGFWs, Network Admission Control, or NAC, and Identity Services provide security professionals with the tools they need to discover threats and enforce and strengthen policies. The next one is during. So here, we're talking about when attacks happen, you need to be able to detect them. Here, you need to have the best threat detections available. Once an attack has been detected, you can block it and protect the environment. During the attack, next-generation IPS or intrusion prevention systems, email and web security solutions help detect, block, and defend against attacks that have penetrated the network and are 
in progress. The third part is the after. So here, invariably, right, the attacks will be successful and you will need to determine the extent of the damage to contain the event or to remediate and to bring the operation back to normal. You also need to address a wide range of attack vectors with solutions that work all over the place where the threat can manifest itself. After an attack, organizations can leverage solutions such as Advanced Malware Protection or AMPT, Security Information and Event Management or ASIEM, and Network Behavior Analysis to quickly and effectively expand, contain, and remediate an attack to minimize damage. To address today's security threats and strengthen protection, organizations require approaches that cover the entire attack spectrum and are built to be visibility-driven, threat-focused, and platform-based.